Welcome to the Gibbs Cam 5 Minute Demo. Today we're going to show you four items slice silhouette, outline, force depth, and the view palette. On this part here, many times we want to cut the periphery of the part, but because the solid has some undercuts in it, similar to this, it's hard to really get the profile of the outside. If we go to the slice plane, you can see I can bring the slice menu up and it gets the profile out here but not necessarily down here. If I bring the profile down to here you can see we can get the profile down here but not the outside of the periphery on the outside of the solid here. So Gibbs has created a menu called Slice Silhouette. What that'll do is that'll uh, give us the silhouette or the periphery of a part even though the model may have undercuts on the model here. And of course from here we can just click on there and extract the profile if we'd like to. Click undo it and we have the periphery of the part. Many times I like to have my geometry at the top of the part. Sometimes I find it easier to work with. So many times we can click on here, go to modify, use force depth, and this is an absolute command. So since my Z0 is at the top of the part, just put in zero there, click to it, and you can see now the geometry is at the top of the part there. Okay, for the second part here, which is similar, this also has many undercuts in it. It's pretty hard to pull geometry off, even using face selection you'd have to stitch those together. But by using the slice silhouette, you can see we can bring our profile down to the bottom of our part. And you can see now I have the periphery of both the OD and the ID. And of course, I could right click and select, select all profiles, extract the geometry. And again, if I want, I could force the depth up to Z0. Very nice way to do that. Also, for those that uh, do not have 2.5D solids or a solid surfacer, but do have the solids import option, you can also do this under the geometry palette. It's called geometry from solids, and it's called outline. By clicking on the solid, Clicking on Do It, you can see now I can also get the periphery of the part very quick and easy. Bring back our other part, and again, Do It. And you can see now I have the periphery of the part there. And last item is the view palette. We all know that this is our top view, front view, right side view, isometric, redraw, previous view, no zoom, and then home. But many people don't know that you can also use the right mouse button and get the opposite view of what you are selecting. For instance, this one here, top view, if I right click, you can see that's the bottom view. Front view, right click, back view. Right side view, right click, left side view. Isometric, right click, isometric but upside down. And you can see our marker is up, upside down as well. We're looking at the negative side. So very easy to manipulate your part around. Of course, holding the right mouse button in here will also dynamically rotate the part. And if you're using a uh, 3D connection, uh, space Navigator, like I have on this computer, you can rotate the part in space pretty easy without even using your mouse. Very fast way to manipulate your solid. Thanks for watching the Gibbs Cam 5-Minute Demo.